السلام عليكم ورحمة الله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال الله تعالى على لسان الملائكة سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم يصر قسم النبات والأحياء الدقيقة أن يرحب بكم في هذا اللقاء العلمي الهام حيث يتم مناقشة رسالة الماجستير المقدمة من الطالب محمد الراج بعنوان Isolation, Characterization and Sequence Analysis of Human Respiratory Sensational Viruses in Saudi Arabia آه الرسالة تحت إشراف الأستاذ دكتور فهد بن ناصر المجحدي مشرف آه رئيسي والدكتور هيثم محمد محمود مشرف معاون كما يصر القسم أن يرحب بالسادة أعضاء الحكم على الرسالة الأستاذ الدكتور عبد الله سالم الجار الله أستاذ طب الأطفال بكلية الطب الدكتور محمد عبد الواحد عارف أستاذ آه الفيرولوجي المشارك بكلية الطب الدكتور صالح أحمد عيفان أستاذ الفيرولوجي المساعد بقسم النبات والأحياء الدقيقة والآن فلنستمع إلى عرض الرسالة من الطالب بإيجاز دون تقصير. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. من الرحيم. وأنزل الله عليك الكتاب والحكمة وعلمك ما لم تكن تعلم وكان فضل الله عليك عظيما. Before starting my presentation, firstly, I briefly outline the research interest of our lab. The main research interest of our lab is human respiratory viruses. We already established several optimized serological and molecular techniques for rapid identification and driving of respiratory viruses. Also, we have a well-equipped tissue culture unit for virus isolation, beside a number of software that we use for virus viruses. These techniques are required for uh, understanding the circulation patterns of respiratory viruses in Saudi Arabia and also to track their evolutionary mechanism. Moreover, enhancing the diagnostic facilities for rapid identification and driving of respiratory viruses is one of our work on the My research project title is Isolation Characterization and Sequence Analysis of Human Respiratory Sensation Virus in Saudi Arabia. My name is Muhammad Ali Farad. This is under supervision of Dr. Fadi Malhari and the course of the Dr. Hassan. Before going into the field of human respiratory sensation virus, I'll briefly describe the problem of acute respiratory infections, health, and economic impact. Our respiratory tracts are prone to infection by several agents, such as viruses, bacteria, and fungi. These agents are able to colonize all parts of our respiratory tracts, causing disease disorders ranging from male to severe symptoms. These infections Badly affect the health of individuals and as a consequence the quality of the immunity. The, the health impact can be expressed in terms of hospitalization, where HRCD alone of the human respiratory virus is responsible for 100,000 million, 100,000 cases annually. Millions of cases can be expected if we consider other respiratory agents. Lower acute respiratory infections where uh, were classified as the first cause of this in low income countries, the first support, the fourth cause of this in middle income countries, and the first support of this in high income countries. Mortality is due to due to acute respiratory infections was estimated as 3.9 million cases annually according to WHO 2008. The economic impact can be expressed in terms of deaths, hospitalization, medication, vaccination, work and school absence temporal loss of activity. Moreover, the cost of treating acute respiratory tract infections were estimated as 
600 United, million United States dollars only in 42 low income countries. The impact of viruses in acute respiratory infection. Viruses are considered the major cause of acute respiratory infection. They are responsible for one third of deaths caused by acute respiratory infections in the developing countries. There are more than 200 viruses belonging to different families are identified as a possible cause of acute respiratory infections. Of these viruses, rhinoviruses are the major cause of upper respiratory infection, and numerous respiratory syncytial virus is the major cause of acute, lower acute respiratory infections. Human respiratory syncytial virus. Since its identification eight years ago, the human respiratory syncytial virus was recorded to cause disastrous epidemics, especially in uh, uh, worldwide, especially in the developing countries. The virus is a, is a leading cause of lower acute respiratory tract infections, especially pneumonia and bronchiolitis. And this slide shows comparison between HRSV and the other respiratory viruses regarding pneumonia, bronchiolitis, tracheal bronchitis, and flu. And it is clear that HRSV is a leading cause of pneumonia and bronchiolitis. HRSV is a highly contagious nosocomial pathogen spread by close contact with infected secretions, such as vomits and the other foods that use in the nasal world. By their first year of life, 50% of children become HRSV infected, and by their second year of life, virtually all the children experience one or more infection. The virus is responsible for about 64 million cases of which 100,000 are hospitalized, and up to 1 million die every year. And this is a comparison between HRSV and the influenza virus as a cause of death, and it is clear that HRSV is a leading cause of infant deaths or in children younger than one year of age. There are two major strain groups of HRCV, designated as HRCV A and HRCV B, were found to circulate concurrently during the epidemics. The taxonomy position. HRCV belongs to the order Mononega virus. Viruses grouped in this order characterized by their negative sense mass segmented uh, RNA genome. The virus, uh, the order includes four families of which paramyx ovarinae contain two subfamilies, paramyx ovarinae and nemovarinae. The uh, subfamily nemovarinae contain two genes, nemovirus and beta nemovirus. The child's E belongs to the genus nemovirus. The venom structure. The genome of child's E is single stranded non segmented RNA genome. The genome is captivated by helical nuclear capsule which form a complex with. A phosphoprotein polymerase and the MP1, MP2 protein. The viral also includes a porcelain surface peptomeres, the attachment G protein, and the fusion glycoprotein F and small hydrophobic protein CH. Also, the genome code for the matrix of the PMHLI, the viral component. Also, the genome encode for two nanostructural protein, MS1 and MS2. The human virus is a essential virus in cell variants. The current situation of HRCV in Saudi Arabia lacks a significant information regarding virus isolation characterization, the prevalent types, risk factors, genetic and antigenic diversity of Saudi HRCV strains, and the relation between uh, the, the genetic and antigenic relation between Saudi HRCV strains and the international counterpart. This table summarizes the history of HRCV in Saudi Arabia since 1993 till 2009, where the virus was screened in four provinces, mostly in the area. The virus was detected using several serological tests such as ELISA immunofluorescence. The percentage of the virus in this assembly ranged from 7.4 to 83. Only one article published by Al-Mahadi in 2009 concerned with virus identification or tagging using RT-PCR. Virus isolation was attempted only in two articles for the purpose of detection. Therefore, the aim of our study is detection and time of HRCV in clinical samples collected from hospitalized children at the Kennedy University Hospital. Isolation and the characterization of HRCV is always the same. Preparation of polyclonal and the evaluation of polyclonal antibodies to HRCV for the development of in house diagnostic tests. And sequence and telegenetic analysis of the most variable and immunogenic protein genes, G and F, of Saudi HRCV states. Experimental design. HRCV was detected by RT-PCR nasopharyngeal samples. The positive samples were exploited for tagging, also for 
virus isolation using cell culture. The recovered isolates were confirmed using RT PCR, immunofluorescence, virus utilization test and ELISA. And also the recovered isolates were titrated and concentrated for the purpose of polyclonal antibody production. And finally, uh, positive cell results like the sequence and the genetic analysis. To facilitate my presentation, I divided the objective of my study into four parts where mutation and timing as part one, virus isolation and characterization as part two, production of fiber immune serum as part three, sequence and genetic analysis as part four. Part one, detection and tidying of virus in perinatal samples. 100 years of perinatal space samples collected from hospitalizing children at King Khaled University Hospital during two winters. Viral RNA was extracted, was extracted and used for detection and tidying using one step of the CRSC. This figure shows RT-PCR detection results of tarsi in perinatal samples, where the above part represents samples from the first year and the lower part represents samples from the second year. The predicted size of the umbilical is 279. The results were compared with 100 square marker, and of course, most of the results were avoided using negative control. For the charts of the positive samples were subjected to a second round of RT-PCR assay using specific primers for post type B and type B. And this figure show samples that reacted positively with type B specific primers, where the predicted size of the umbilical is 374 square from sample this part of the sample from the first year, and this represents samples from the second year. Similarly, this figure shows samples that reacted positively with type B specific primers, and the predicted size of the umbilical is 183, and this represents samples from the first year, and this from the second year. This table summarizes the process of detection and typing, where 100 years of ideal aspirin samples were collected, out of which 53 from the first year and 47 from the, uh, the second year. 13 samples out of which 53 from the first year were HRC positive, of which 8 were type A and 5 were type B. Similarly, 16 samples out of 47 from the second year were HRC positive, out of which type uh, 8 were type A and 5 were type B. In our study, also we examined the relationship between HRSP incidence and risk factors, and we reported that males are more prone to infection than females, and with parts younger than six months of age are more prone to infection than any other two group. Conclusion With six out of 100 males of Angela and Space samples were HRSP positive, the two types of HRSP were found to circulate simultaneously during. Uh, epidemics uh, with slight predominance of type A over type B. Males are more prone to infection than females, and infants younger than six months of age are more prone to infection than in other people. Part two, <coughs> isolation and the characterization of the HRSV South strains. In this part, positive samples were exploited for the purpose of virus isolation. Why virus isolation was obtained? Virus isolation is a gold standard for virus diagnosis. Virus isolates uh, can provide a significant tool for further biological, immunological, and historical studies. Also, virus isolates can be used to generate poly and monoclonal antibodies for the development of enhanced diagnostic kits, which I will discuss in part three. And finally, virus isolates can uh, serve as a vaccine candidate for effective control of charts of and surgery. For the purpose of isolation, Two permissive cell lines were used, HIP2, which is standard for human epidermal carcinoma, and the VIRO, which is standard for African green monkey kidney cells. <clears throat> Three passes were applied, seven days each, for each positive samples, and we reported that no CT were developed on VIRO cells. However, two samples for 38 and 91 developed the characteristic CD of CD on HIP2 cells. It is also hard to mention that CPD produced by isolate 38 is more rapid than that of isolate 91. This figure shows the progression of CBE on HIP2 as observed and documented by the medical stroke, who will be as a control, and 36, post, uh, 36 hours post-infection, small sensation start to develop. Sensation is a characteristic CBE for Charles CD, where the fusion protein of the virus merge the membranes of infected cells with with, uh, with uh, membranes of 30 neighboring cells forming a multi nucleated giant cells or CC shape, and this is the elevation of nuclei in the multi nucleated giant cells or CC shape. 48 hour post infection, several CC shape 
start a war were observing under the red microscope as shown. And 72 hour post infection, some sensation start to detach from the normal image. <laughs> The chance of titration and the concentration. The recovered isolates were titrated using infectivity titration assay, giving you the following title. For isolates 30 years, the title is 10 power 8.5 PCI detected for the And for isolates 91, the title is 10 power 5.5 PCI detected for the Also, the recovered isolates were concentrated using polyacetylene light of 6000 and were treated for, uh, at minus 80 for their values. Characterization also in choice mystery. To be sure that the recovered isolates are HR signal, we had four assays were adopted to confirm the virus identity <coughs> on molecular and uh, on and genetic and antigenic basis. Firstly, the first assay is reverse transport test for the release chain reaction to work the presence of the virus in tissue culture supermapping of uh, the different classics we applied was that using uh, RT PCR assay and the big size of the telecom is 279. This is, uh, this figure is for ISO 38, and this is for ISO 91, and this is the theta positive reaction which confirms the virus identity. The second assay is indirect immunoprocess assay. This assay was performed in 24 tissue culture uh, plate, well, 24 well tissue culture plate, using two antibodies. The human drive is these uh, specific antibodies, and secondary antibody, anti human fluorescein isocytes when we give the antibodies. After suitable incubation period of the virus on HIV2, the, uh, the plate was fixed with isotone and treated with antibodies, and the images were captured and analyzed using cell analysis. As shown in the figure, there is a variation in immunofluorescence degree between the two isolates, which is inconsistent with their factors and behavior in the uh, cell culture. The presence of such eliminated infected cells indicate a positive reaction of cell culture with antibodies, which confirm the virus identity. The third assay is enzyme active immune absorbent assay. We adopted in the cell phase ELISA. The assay was performed in 96 well plate, ELISA plate, where the first column for the first is ISO 58, and the second with 91, and uh, the third column is HIPO and HIPO, and the fourth column was for the second After suitable incubation period, the plate was treated uh, uh, with antibodies. Which this solution was added, and the developed color was measured using an automated cell, uh, cell uh, ELISA leader. And the results, as I showed, for negative control, the result is 0.65, and for HIV2, it is 0.67. For isolate 38, the result is 1.5, and for isolate 91, it is 1.7. The presence of such a difference between reading of the control and uh, antigens indicates a positive reaction of solid charge hysterine with. Antibodies, which confirm the virus identity. The fourth assay is virus utilization <coughs> test, where the infectivity of solid charge systems were, were tested, uh, was tested against human driving IgE specific antibodies. We adopted beta procedure, which is the virus and driving serum, and we recorded that human driving IgE specific antibodies were able to neutralize the virus infectivity and how the appearance of CTE and the false dilution. Which confirmed the virus. Conclusion: Two HRCV strain were uh, belonged to type A were isolated using cell culture for the first time in Saudi Arabia. The two isolates varied in their behavior on cell culture. Both isolates were able to produce a significant factor of uh, infected virus particles. HRCV Saudi isolates share the common genetic and antigenic uh, feature. Uh, of international strains as, as confirmed by RTBCR as say ELISA and Neuroprocess and Violet. Part 3 Production and Evaluation of Polyclonal Antibodies in Rats Against Saudi Charles Mystery. In this part, polystyrene glycate concentrated antigens were exploited for the purpose of production and evaluation of polyclonal antibodies. Why polyclonal antibodies uh, preparation of the term? Polyclonal antibodies against, along with the virus antigen can be exploited for the purpose of uh, development of enhanced diagnostic kits for rapid detection and identification of charges in this area. This chart summarizes the process of uh, preparation and evaluation of polyphenol antibodies, where the big concentrated antigen virus and the HIV2 was mixed with uh, equal amounts of dry diluvium. 
Primes are proven to be dyed and dried mycobacterium in a paper process to multiply the mineral oil, which act as a immune differentiator or enhances the immune response. Rats is then uh, where we rejected uh, sequences, two weeks each, according to the protocol on the pillar. Seven rats were injected with uh, HRCV antigen, and two rats were injected with HIP2 antigen, and one rat was better than the control. Rats were immunized according to the following regime, where three doses were applied, two weeks each. The first dose contained complete toilet human, and while the second or the next two doses contained complete toilet. Rats were injected subcutaneously, and after the 10 days of the third dose, rats were played serum most collected and evaluated using immunofluorescence assay and the virus neutralization test as described in the presentation section. The result of virus neutralization test indicated the presence of 256 neutralization on the bed 50 microliter in the serum. And now serum will be processed for the purpose of uh, diagnostic purposes. Conclusion, polyclonal antibodies against Charles B. Sound strains were prepared in rats. Polyclonal antibodies were evaluated using immunoprocess assay and virus neutralization test. As I But for sequence and phylogenetic analysis of the GLF genes, the most valuable and immunogenic protein genes of the charge. Why GLF genes were selected for sequencing uh, for sequence and phylogenetic analysis? G gene is the most valuable gene among the charge strains. Based on the antigenicity of its protein, the charge strains were classified into HRCVA and HRCVB. In contrast to the gene protein, uh, the uh, G gene, the fusion gene is highly conserved, and its protein were found to induce protective immunity against all charge B strains. The molecular changes of G and F genes were found to affect the antigenic and functional stability of the functional and antigenic stability of charge B strains. Before going into the uh, going into the details of sequence and phylogenetic analysis, I'll briefly describe the structure and the function of G and F proteins. The main function of G protein is to attach the virus particles through the host cell membrane. The protein is sized as 32 kilo dalton protein, which is heavily glycosylated by the addition of N and or linked with glycans. The protein is composed of three regions, the cytoplasmic tail, the hydrophobic domain, which is required for polymerization and also is required to anchor the, the protein to the viral network. And the large C of the domain, which contain a conserved region, Flanked by two hypervaluable hyper regions. The conserved region contains four ST residuals, which form a cysteine nodes by disulfide plate formation between each two adjacent ST residuals. This cysteine node is thought to contain the receptor fire inside. Three kinds of epitopes were mapped within the two protein. Conserved epitopes, which are present in all charge strains, and group specific epitopes, group specific epitopes, which uh, uh, differentiate between group A and the group B. Both epitopes, uh, conserved and group specific, were allocated in the conserved region. And three specific epitopes, which vary between isolates of the same antigenic group. HRCV evolved with several mechanisms to, to change the antigenicity of the protein to enable it to escape from the immune system, which will be discussed later in this part. The fusion protein is much longer, it's about 574 amino acids. It is synthesized as non physiogenic form, which is cleaved post translationally, giving two subunits F1 and F2, linked together by a disulfide bridge. The protein is composed of three hydrophobic domains, signal peptide, which acts as a plasma particular, particular uh, translocational signal, and the fusion peptide, which induces the fusion process, and two peptide repeats. That uh, adopt a kind of viral structure that act as a T cell to bring the viral membrane with host membrane and the uh, trans membrane domain, which acts to anchor the protein to the viral membrane. Also, a number of antigenic sites were mapped within the two proteins, some of which were found to neutralize the virus membrane. This, this chart summarizes the sequence and the phylogenetic analysis process. Firstly, selection of strain candidates where Two strains, sample one and mite one, were, uh, belonging to <coughs> type A, were selected to represent each year. 
Similarly, two samples, 28 and 86 belonging to type E, were selected for example. Then sequencing uh, strategy and primer design. <coughs> this figure shows the sequencing strategy we adopted for the G gene. The G gene is about 900 nucleotides, so two fragments are enough to cover the whole gene. But due to the variation in the G gene of HRSVs between HRSV strains, two fragments were designed for each type. These are fragments for type A and these are fragments for type B. And this is a sequencing strategy adopted for the fusion gene. The fusion gene is much longer. It's about 1,725 nucleotides. So three fragments, we generate the three fragments. And due to the highly conserved nature of uh, fusion gene between the HRC isolates, the same three fragments were used for four times. After designing, after the primer uh, design, designing, they were checked, examined at IDPT in your website using the ring analyzer tool to check primer diamond and the hair plate possibilities and hair temperature and the other primer uh, features. And then primer were sent, primers were sent for synthesizing. And after receiving the synthesized primer, they were used to amplify post fragments, uh, fragments of post genes GMF using the high fidelity RT PCR assay. And this figure shows high fidelity RT PCR assays of uh, uh, different fragments. The above part of the figure is for uh, type B samples, and the lower part is for type B. As an example, the first two fragments that cover the whole the G gene, while the next three fragments cover the fusion gene. The results were compared with 100 base pair marker, and then after uh, the amplified fragments were excised from the gel and purified using gel band verification kit, and were sent for sequencing at Gene Arc Germany. Over receiving the raw data of sequences, the sequence was confirmed, confirmed by uh, using was confirmed using bioelectric software by aligning both forward and reverse fragments, and then unmatched genes, the overlap regions were removed to uh, to avoid insertion of a relevant mutation or replication sequence. Then the whole gene uh, GMF genes was uh, were retrieved, submitted to the gene bank, and published by seventeen. Uh, September 2011, and this figure shows the uh, deposited genes at the uh, at gene bank database. Four genes for uh, regarding the DG, and the four genes regarding for the FG. Four for type A, and uh, two for type A, and two for type B, with the following sequence number. Sequence analysis using mega alignment software. For the purpose of sequence analysis, the nucleotide sequence and uh, use amino acids of, of both genes were aligned with their international uh, counterpart strains, as, as shown. This figure shows how we perform sequence analysis, where we put our Saudi strains in the top, and the international strain, strains were aligned below. Mutations are indicated in boxes. And this table summarizes the process of sequence analysis regarding the G gene and its protein. We recorded varying numbers of mutations in isolates of each type. However, some mutations are unique. It means that we're not recorded in the international strains. Also, we examined the effect of such a mutation on the amino acid level. And we recorded also a varying number of amino acid changes, changes in isolates of each type, of which some amino acid changes are unique. Similarly, uh, this table summarizes sequence, uh, sequence analysis of the G gene and its protein for the fusion uh, for the gene and its protein. This, we also recorded a varying number of mutations in either speech type, of which uh, uh, some mutations are unique. Mm -hmm. Also, we examined the effect of such mutation on the amino acid level, some of which are unique. And it is also uh, it is clear here that uh, the amino acid changes are uh, too small, which will, uh, which will confirm the, con uh, the conservative nature of uh, fusion protein. The effect of amino acid changes on the antagonist of protein. Based on previous studies, we examined the effect of amino acid changes on the antagonist of protein. In these studies, investigators used the synthetic reptiles and they added them with monoclonal antibodies. By this way, they were able to map the epitox and to study the effect of amino acid changes on epitox integrity. In our study, we recorded the following. No changes were recorded in the conserved region. 
and this figure show the reduced amino acid sequence analysis and where our uh, Saudi strains are in the top and the international strains are lining uh, below. This box indicates the conserved region I described before, which is the same in all international strains. I mean that there is no mutation. Here. And the, the first is T residuals, two inside the conserved region and two outside the conserved region. This force is T residuals for the system modes I described before. This finding confirmed our virus identity and also indicate that our sequence will perform correctly. In previous studies, investigators recorded that the change in the amino acid from hydrophilic to hydrophobic one given to antibody binding. In our study, we recorded two amino acid changes at position 106, where the hydrophilic glutamine E was changed to hydrophobic uh, glycine G. And similarly, at position 133, the hydrophilic threonine was changed to hydrophobic isoleucine. By this way, the virus can escape the uh, immune system as, uh, as these changes affect the antibody binding. Also, the investigators recorded that replacement of serine amino acids or serine or phenyl alanine also abrogate, abrogate antibody binding. Or we recorded in our study two amino acid changes at position 269 and 270, where the uh, uh, amino acid serine was changed to serine and the phenyl alanine respectively. Also, we recorded a premature stop codon form against the isolate 91, as shown in the figure, which may have to delete uh, some uh, antitoxin. Also, we examined the effect of glycosylation on the antigenicity of G protein. Glycosylation is the addition of uh, carbohydrate chains to the newly synthesized protein. Glycosylation provides protein with several functions. It, uh, uh, glycosylation provides protein with several functions, such as thermostability, thermo degradation resistance, and play a role in antigenicity by masking the epitop or enhance the epitop to enhance epitop integrity. In our study, I used net og like software to predict og -like, og like solution and the net n glide for the in glycylation. For O glycylation, this uh, this x axis indicate O glycylation potential and this uh, amino acid amino acid positions. We recorded four amino acid changes in Saudi Charles B type A as highly predicted size for O glycylation and only two amino acid changes in HRSV type B strain as highly predicted size for O glycylation. No amino acid changes in HRSV type A strains were predicted as high potential sites for any glycosylation. However, two amino acid changes in type B strains, one in, in isolate 28 and one in isolate 86, were predicted as high potential sites for any glycosylation. For the purpose of our analysis, a value genetic tree was constructed for each gene type to study the relationship between our zone strains are their international counterpart strains. And this is this figure shows the phylogenetic tree uh, of type A Saudi strains based on G protein. It is clear that Saudi Chinese <coughs> strains are more related to each other, and the Chinese strains are the most relevant, which may indicate that both strains originate from the same ancestor. And this is a phylogenetic tree based on G protein for type B Saudi strains. Also, Saudi so strains are most relevant to each other, and Argentinian strains are the most relevant. Regarding the diffusion G for HRC type in Saudi strains, also Saudi so strains are most relevant, and American strains are, uh, are the closest strains to our strains. Also, for type B strains with F14, American strains also are the most relevant. Conclusion. Mutation rate in GG of Charles V type A strain is higher than that of type A strains, which may explain the predominance of type A over type B. In G14, we recorded four amino acid changes where we recorded to have a possible impact on the top integrity. Six amino acids, four in type A and two in type B, were predicted as high potential sites for the 
And two amino acid changes in the strains were predicted as highly feature size for amino acid solution in the strain. For phylogenetic analysis, Asian strains are the most relevant two of the of strains, which makes the things that they originate from the same system. American and Argentinian strains appear to be the most relevant two of the of strains. Recommendation. A set of objective and comprehensive studies required for better understanding of HRC circulation and cell behavior. HRC Saudi Asia's antigens and antibodies used in this study can be fundamental, a way fundamental for further basic and applied studies on HRC. Development of open group diagnostic tools, vaccine production, also sequence analysis of more HRC studies on temporal and spatial. Basis will be helpful for understanding uh, HRC circulation pattern in the cell data. Also, complete genome sequencing of solid HRC strains will be helpful to determine the ancestral origin and the evolutionary pathway. Milestone achievements isolation characterization and sequence analysis of HRC solid hybrids. Eight genes were deposited deposit at the gene bank database. One patent was submitted. To intellectual property and technology licensing program KCUPC under the title Polyclonal Antibodies Against ABC Tumor Species Survivors, two papers, two iterations, two submissions. At the end of my presentation, I would like to thank Allah Almighty who gave me the courage, the courage and patience, energy to complete my work. Also, my thanks is to my supervisors, Dr. Tarim al Hadi and Dr. Haytham Ahmed, the head of the and the head of the Lions for the My thanks also is to Dr. Tarim who made the head of the Lions and the head of the and all of my colleagues who made the head of the Lions. Also, I thank my thanks is to the Center of Excellence and the Center of Research, Dr. Harshan Khan, and my project. And thank, thank you all for your time, attention, and patience. for this very uh, I mean, uh, interesting talk and very uh, I, I thought it's PhD uh, I mean, uh, presentation and uh, uh, a lot of information I mean, uh, uh, my question now you, you, you relate to the, the need to Argentina uh, and the United States strain uh, do, do you recommend now uh, using the vaccination program <coughs> to do to implement it in Saudi Arabia population uh, according to, to, to this finding you have to uh, firstly there is no effective vaccine against HRC in the okay. but uh, all our trials I mean, uh, 
this is your question or what? Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it, it, it understood the idea, I mean, it's not 100% uh, I mean, effective. But uh, maybe uh, the doctor will uh, uh, tell us more about it. But you now it's just to prevent it for, I mean, high risk patient for uh, small children and uh, uh, I mean, uh, special cases. I mean, what's the element in your response to it or all that? Uh, but, uh, you know, it's been used, and I think it's, uh, there is some cases in your uh, Saudi Arabia, they have to use vaccination for, for such uh, cases. Uh, it's my question, do you recommend from your, your, from your study, from your time, we use the uh, vaccination in, in the U.S.? Vaccination? Yeah. Uh, actually, vaccination, I, as I told you, is not successful. But to my my conclusion, I will try my best trying to make such a combined vaccine with which we start on the uh, But vaccination is not available for uh, successful vaccination for each Till now, it's not. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Since the positivity rate was very low, did you try to screen for other viruses in your sample? Other viruses? Yeah. You mean more, more samples? Yeah, like in the viruses. And no, no, no. It's not to conduct studies in viruses. What for this? <coughs> Since the samples were ARI, respiratory tract infection samples. Yes. So was it positive for some other viruses? Did you check? Yes. For me, not. My, my colleague, Shalan. Okay, okay. He was graduated yeah. about one month ago. He yeah. conducted his uh, researches on H uh, human body coronavirus. Right. And also, there is uh, all the remaining of the team is each, each one is done straight alive. Like the influenza virus, influenza B, like this, influenza A, and so on. Uh, second thing, uh, you said that you on the basis of the sequence uh, analysis of the second hyperbar hypervariable hyper yes. 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 The viruses are characterized for groups A, B, and B, A. So did you ever find BA with here? Uh, I'm sorry? Uh, virus on the basis of second hypervariable variable region of the G14 gene. Yes. The viruses are characterized into group A, group B, and group, group BA. Group A? Not group BA. Group B. Okay. That has 60 amino acid duplication. Yes, yes. The second hypervariable region contain yeah. all the uh, so you didn't get any uh, this uh, group BA virus? We make sequence uh, no no, we make sequence for, for a whole gene. And we right. are it with zero international companies. <laughs> We focus on the second item. This unique uh, group, uh, third group, that is. No, group only two groups, group A and group B. Third group you don't find here. What? Because third group is also reported in. B A? We, B A. We didn't yes. check. That has 60 amino acid duplication in the. Yes, yes, we didn't. We didn't have. We didn't get that. Uh, third thing, uh, you raised uh, uh, polyclonal sera yes. using whole virus. Whole virus, yes. So do you plan to uh, target on some? Yes, some yes, some it protein, might be HD, it shall be HD, it shall be HD, it will be HD, it will be HD. researcher 
what type of analysis you have? How, who, how can you analyze your results? I mean, how you can say a man is more susceptible and feminine? If it is so, why, why is it that clear? There are just two mixed questions, okay? If it's not clear, I can repeat. It's clear for you? No, yes, it's clear. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, men in general, as a general term, males are more prone to infection than females. This is a general term for all females, as, as, as important in the future. And uh, regarding your question that it's Saudi Arabia, there are some restrictions in collecting the sample like this, so we perform it our study in uh, real time. But we can predict, uh, or uh, we can predict that other sites will have the same effect. For the second family, uh, which is, <laughs> I can't answer you this, uh, why males are more prone to infection, maybe the surgical changes in the body of males. <coughs> <coughs> yes, Very good presentation. Congratulations. I have one query, uh, Mr. Farah. Uh, you have, uh, you tried to propagate type A. Yes. Why not type B? Yes, permutation type B is different from one which is Very different. Yeah. So, also, 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 also type A, but little bit uh, with that type B. And also, you know, Chaz is a private virus, so the, the process of isolation is very tedious. So it's not easy to get the virus isolated. But for type B, we try, <coughs> but we did successfully recover the virus. Thank you. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, 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 one question regarding, I guess you, you did uh, in cell analysis for finding the potential. Yeah. Uh, it's a, no, I mean, I guess um, for uh, if it, uh, finding or identification the potential of amino acid for like a. Yes, yes, I think right? solution. So, you did this, I guess, in, 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 in cell, I mean, in computer for the right? Yeah. Right? So, so now. Uh, this is just a question that we yes. have uh, first. Um, so you, I, I guess you find two amino acids that has a high, high potential for yeah. yeah, so my first question, uh, how, how you find this in comparison to uh, international strain, the same amino acid or different, or uh, either in the amino acid sequence or in the position? This one question. Uh, the other one is, um, uh, so now, what is the importance of this? So this means you are you going, for example, to the future uh, to make uh, uh, like in vitro cellular isolation for the virus itself, yes, you mean or that. for prior for that's more that's improvements or different? Yes. Yeah. That's I think. Question. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 For your question, uh, the amino acid, we, the purpose of uh, this is to examine the effect of amino acid is to record regarding the amino acid. So we are trying phase of the amino to check how all evidence of amino acid change in the different phase of the amino But to study this effect, we have to make some sort of and other studies. So we, we take our time on previous study, just a, 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 a previous analysis. But in, uh, if, we, if we make uh, specific plans using our technique, it may not work as much. There is a possible effect. Trying to find it. The fact that if this new acid change affects the technique, we must do They are taking the antibody bind with this, uh, this new acid change. They can affect the antibody bind or not. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all 
all of you for attending this uh, presentation. Also, I would like to thank especially our guests, the external examiner from uh, College of Sci uh, Medicine, uh, Professor Abdullah Jarabah and uh, Dr. Mohammed uh, Arif, and also the rest of the uh, uh, staff member of this college, and all the researchers uh, in different departments and the students. Uh, just my comments is that I would like to uh, mention that uh, first to thank the uh, student for his good presentation and also for good cases and the quality of cases which deal with the unimportant uh, issues, which is deal with the important viruses affecting the health of millions of uh, human beings uh, throughout the world. Uh, this subject is an important. Also, the outcome of this uh, thesis, uh, either the, uh, what they deposit in the gene bank, uh, and also the outcome of the papers coming, and also the patent of the vaccine, which is really uh, give this uh, thesis uh, important. This will not come from uh, uh, ordinary lab. So I would like to thank especially uh, the, the group, which led by Prof. Uh, Majhadi. Really, they select good team and good student to, to produce such thesis which we really feel are proud to have such quality of uh, thesis. And we look forward to have such things uh, from the uh, research groups, which the university really support these uh, research groups. So uh, I, I, I would like also again to thank you about that and to thank the uh, student and the research group and all of you for attending and just uh, have the uh, very fresh week and you must work out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.